How to add text to your 3D design in Design Spark Mechanical? As the one you see on the screen right now, it's a name card holder with a printed text on it. So we will make something like this. Let's start by making a rectangle. So click rectangle and then uh, we will make the size 80 by 30 millimeters. And then click the 3D mode. Now we will pull this one or extrude this one by 30 millimeters. Okay. And then I will click select home. So this is the basic shape for the name card holder. I will click here and then we will make some uh, sketch at that side. So, okay. Uh, I will pull here by 10 millimeters. Okay. And then 45 degrees. Okay. So after that, I will click the 3D mode again, pull, and then click this one and pull cut right away. So now we have this surface here. This is the surface that we will put a text on it. And then after that, we will uh, first we will cut here for the card to put on this card holder. So I will click this one. And then I will set the thickness of the wall by 3 millimeters. So let's click like this, okay? And also I will start here and 3 millimeters. And then here also 3 millimeters. And then click 3D mode. Click here and then click pull. Okay. Now we have the slot for the name card or business card. Now let's click here to add the text. I will use this uh, tool. So this is a dimension tool. Let's click here. It will create an annotation plane. The one you see with the blue uh, border or edges. Okay. Now we will click here. And then it will show some number on it. So it is the dimension of this line. Now we will manipulate this one. So click here. So it will become an annotation here. And we will manipulate that one. So double click here and then type in what we want to write. So this one will be 3D printed. Yes. Press escape. Now let's resize this uh, text. Right click. And then uh, okay, select all the text. And then right click then change the size I'll try 10 and then click bold you can also change the font here as you want and this is still not big enough so I will type in 11 okay now I will click select and then we will move this one okay wait so it is going to be at the most center position of this face as possible Okay, we have a good symmetry now. And then after that, we will project this uh, text to the surface. So if we hide this annotation plane, there are nothing here. It's just a blank uh, surface. But if we want to add the writing here or the text here, we must project from the annotation plane. Click here and then click here. So it means we select all the text. Okay. And then click this one, project. And then press Alt at your keyboard. And then click on the surface that you want to project the text to. So in this case, here, I will click here. And then after the blue become a dark blue, I will remove the Alt button. Okay. And then click select. Now, we have a projected text on this solid and to check that we can hide this annotation plane okay now we have a projected uh, text on this surface and we can do what we want with this so we want to extrude add or extrude cut it's up to us so now i will extrude add uh, all these shapes so let's start by these two first pull i will extrude by two millimeters Okay, looks like some trouble here, so let's solve it. 
uh, wait let me zoom in so it looks like there's this little trouble here so just click on it and then click fill okay now we will click this one and again we will try to pull extrude at by two millimeters okay done now let's do the same thing for the other uh, letters Okay, and then pull by two millimeters. Let's see. Ah, okay, some problem at this one, letter R. Let's check. Ah, this is where the trouble is. So click here, and then click fill. Okay, then click here, and then pull by two millimeters. Done. Okay. Congratulations, now you can add text to your 3D design. Anyway, if you have any question or suggestion, please put in the comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you again in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.